It's the first time tuning in, my name is Ronald Johnson, and what I do is I'm a fish enthusiast, mental health coach, and soon to be therapist. And what I do is I talk about how to take care of my hobbies as in the fish hobby itself, and talk about mental health. So, one thing that has happened of those out there that fish keepers know this, unbeknownst to you, things can happen. You know, ammonia can spike, which is poop. Uh, nitrates can get pretty high. Things can happen unbeknownst to you for a lot of different reasons. And the first thing I noticed is that Bully, let me show you where he is, is actually in the back, right there in the back. I noticed he was doing something pretty odd. He was swimming up and down the tank. So right here, up and down, up and down, very, very often. And usually that's a couple of different signs. One sign could be stress. I add a couple of new fish to the tank. Small spaces, that could be one thing. Another sign can be is that inadequate food, sick. Another sign can be poor filtration, which is another sign. Another sign can be the nitrate levels or nitrogen cycle is off. In my case, it was off. So what I did is I grabbed a kit. You guys can see right there. I grabbed a kit, API master kit, and I did a test. And ammonia is about eight ppm. So let me show you what I mean by eight ppm. It means parts per million. If you look at this, you can see it was about right there. So it was really, really high. And immediately what I'd done is I said, you know what, first thing to do is let's do a water change. So I changed about, you can see it's filling up now, you can see the pump there, but I changed about 70%. So if you look down here, my hand is here, about 70% of water change and now I'm putting fresh water in there. So what that means is that usually when a fish's behavior changed, which it did, I saw the bully wasn't aggressive at food, the bully being the red-tailed catfish. I saw he wasn't aggressive at food. I saw he swimming up and down. It's really looked a little off. I'm like, okay, well, let me take a look see what's happening. Now, first thing is, is on my 180 here, I run three canister filters. So I know the filtration is up to par. I know recently I just did a filter change as far as changing the pants out, mechanical, mechanical filtration. The third filter's only been on the tank two months. So I know there was some time there. So, test, water test, water test, see what the problem is and fix it immediately. So what I'm gonna do is do a big water uh, change today, not gonna feed them. So that means is that if I don't feed them, it drops ammonia levels. Also what I noticed, those that are monster fish keepers is, see I have this big log right here, okay? So under the log, which I noticed yesterday, a lot of uneaten food, oh my God. So that was causing it to rise ammonia levels. So I removed all the stuff underneath the log itself and now I'm gonna do a water change and we're gonna see the levels tomorrow, see if they change. After you do a major water change, what you wanna do is wait 24 hours, let the water cycle through, then you wanna go back and see the levels. Thanks for listening.